Hello. In this lecture, I will teach you about basic strings comparison. First of all, I will create a new project. I will name it Comparing Strings. Select Enter. Then I will create three variables for comparison. All are strings. Dim A as string is assigned value as Mr. A. Second variable, dim B as string equals Mr. B. Third variable, dim C as string. Right here, I will assign the same value as variable A, which is Mr. A. So when comparing A with C, the value must be the same. While comparing A with B, the result should not be the same. I want the program to display the name as comparing strings, colon, and at the end of the name, I will make a remark that is case sensitive. And don't forget to start a new line. First example. We have to determine the variable's value to use in this comparison. I will name it result1 as boolean. This variable retains the value true or false. Make a comparison by using equality operator. I will place the comparison in the bracket, like this. A equals B. If A equals B, result 1 will retain the value true. On the other hand, if A is not equal to B, result 1 will retain the value false. If we want to know whether they are equal or not, we have to display those values. Console dot right line bracket string dot format bracket to organize strings format. Index zero in curly brackets, index one in curly brackets, index two in curly brackets, followed by comma and variable a, b, and result 1. I want to compare A with B, so add equals here and return colon. OK, start a new line. Use console.writeLine brackets. Then, to inform users to press Enter to close a program, use console.writeLine, press Enter to continue. We will stop the screen by using console.read brackets. Run the program. If A equals B, what value will be displayed? We will find that Mr. A equals Mr. B. Return is false, because variable A retains Mr. A, while variable B retains Mr. B. So when comparing, the program evaluates it as being inequality. Press Enter. Next, I will use another operator called inequality operator, less than or greater than symbols. Change the operator in every line and run the program to see the result. Mr. A, inequality Mr. B, return is true because variable A and B retain the different values. End of example 1. Going on to example 2. I will use the method strings.equals. Declare new variables. Dim result 2 as boolean equals strings.equals brackets. Followed by two variables that we want to compare, which are A and B. Then, we're going to display the variable value. Don't forget to start a new line, console.writeLine. Here, it will identify whether A and B are equal. If they're equal, the result must be true. 
and if they're not equal, the result must be false. Okay, Mr. A equals Mr. B is false. It's inequality. Then I will compare with C. Replace B to C and run the program. The result should be true only. Wait a minute, I forgot to change the data here. Try running it again. OK, Mr. A equals Mr. A is true. Because variable A and C retain the same value that is Mr. A. End of example 2. Next, example 3. The first two examples are basic and not complicated. But example 3 will be more complicated because this method will be case-sensitive comparison. A is a capital letter is not equal to an A in a lowercase letter. We will call it string.compare ordinal method. Let's see the example. First, create a variable dim str1 as string equals ABC in capital letters and dim str2 as string equals ABC in lowercase letters. Then use the method dim result 3 as. I forgot to mention that the method string.compare ordinal will return the value as integer, not boolean, as in the earlier example. So we use dim result 3 as integer equals string.compare ordinal brackets. Put the variable we want to compare in the bracket. In this case, it is str1 and str2, and str has to be in lowercase letters. Since in this method the return results have more than two, well the previous examples like result1 and result2 can return only true or false, so it doesn't have much to decide. But string.compare ordinal methods return more than two results. There are three results that can be returned that are less than zero, equal to zero, and greater than zero. So I will use if, then, else statement here to help with the operation. Before that, I will declare the variable dim my string as string to convert the integer number here to a message that users can easily understand. Because this method originally doesn't return as a message and it's hard to understand so we have to convert it to a message. Okay, we're going to use the if-then-else statement. If result 3 is less than 0 in brackets, then my string retain str1 and the and symbol followed by the message that we want to represent is less than and the second to compare is str2. In this case, the result is less than zero. It means that str1 is less than str2. Next, consider the second condition, else if result 3 equals zero. Then assign the value to my string equals str1 and symbol is equal to and symbol str2. The third condition is when the return resulted is greater than zero. We will use the else statement. Else my string equals str1 and is greater than and str2. To sum up, when comparing str1 and str2, it turns out that the return result is less than zero. My string will retain the message str1 is less than str2. If result 3 returns the result that is equal to zero, my string will retain the message str1 is equal to str2. If result 3 returns the result that is greater than zero, my string will retain the message str1 is greater than str2. 
We will display the result by using console.writeLine. I will organize the format by adding string.format and return colon. Then index 0 in curly brackets, index 1 in curly brackets. Followed by the variable that we want to represent, which is result 3 and my string. That is what we actually want to represent because the returned result from result 3 is in a numeric format which is hard to understand. Then run the program and see what will happen. We will find that the returned result is minus 32, which meets the first case that is less than 0. So strings that are ABC in capital letters are less than ABC in lowercase letters, str2. It's accurate because it's less than 0. Then I will change ABC's value so that it will meet with case 2 equal to 0. Run the program. Returns are 0. ABC in capital letters is equal to ABC in capital letters. This is case sensitive. Then I will replace ABC in capital letters to ABC in lowercase letters and run it to see what will happen. The return is greater than 0. It's 32. We don't have to be concerned what number it is. We just have to see whether it is greater than 0 or not. If it is greater than 0, it will meet the condition 3, str1 is greater than str2. ABC in lowercase letters is greater than ABC in capital letters. This lesson will be so beneficial in comparing sensitive data. Case sensitive, like lowercase letters, and capital letters have different values. I will end this lecture here. See you in the next lecture. Thank you.